Hey everybody, it's Deja from KnitAndCrochetOverAfter.com and today I am reviewing my third and final Annie's Kit Club. I've come to an end. Um, I loved the other two and so now I'm doing this one I'm interested in. So I don't look at the description when I get these, I just want to see kind of what happens with them. So it's like kind of a surprise almost. And these are kind of a surprise. This kit is a knit crochet kit where you're doing new projects every month. So this one is a ticking stripe kitchen set and it comes not only in a crochet version, but it also comes in a knit version. So it's, and it's like really hard to tell them apart. Like they did a really good job of making a knit and crochet version of it because you know sometimes especially like when changing knit to crochet like it can just not look good so I'm interested to see how these turn out and the other thing I'm really interested to see is if I have enough yarn to do both of them which would be really cool because then you get kind of a two-for-one so the yarn that it came with is of course cotton because it's a kitchen item. There's two whites and one blue and it looks like from the pattern on this one it's kind of two it's like a bigger dishcloth and then two pot holders I guess you would say. One in blue one in white and same thing for the knit so you know white white blue. So I'm gonna see if I end up having enough yarn to do all of them. So I'm probably going to do like this one in crochet and then these two in knit to start with just in case I run out so I can kind of you know look at the patterns and how everything is done and what I think of the yarn. Um, this is 200 yards which is pretty good for cotton and I, I think I'm going to be able to do them all. I'm going to be optimistic. I think I can at least get like four pot holders for sure. Um, this is a do not bleach, do not iron, cool machine, wash gentle, tumble dry, gentle, low heat, so totally wash and dryable. Just take it easy. I think they always put gentle just so that, you know, you aren't disappointed if you throw it on medium and it, you know, totally destroys your projects. I think most yarn is never going to say just throw it in and let it go. Um, it's a medium worsted. I always think cotton lies when they say medium because it never seems like a medium. Like this is medium and I got some other medium. It does, it always seems thinner. Maybe just because of how it's wound. I don't know. I always think it's thinner than that. Um, it doesn't give me needles or hooks to use on the band, but in the pattern, for the crochet, I'm doing a 5.5 millimeter USI and a 5 millimeter for needles. So size 8. And it actually says a crochet hook for the knitting. Ooh, maybe it has a crochet border. It does. So if you knit, you're going to learn a little bit of crochet if you don't know it already. Um, so watch my other videos if you need to know how to single crochet a border. Um, I'm going to go and start working on these and seeing how well the pattern's written, how nice the yarn is to me, and then I'll come back and kind of give you an overview of everything. Hey everyone, I am done with some of my knit and crochet towels and pot holders. So what I ended up doing was the tea towel, I think it's a tea towel, it's kitchen towel, whatever you want to call it, um, in crochet and then I did the knit pot holder dishcloth, whatever you want to call it, um, in knit. <laughs> I did the knit one in knit. Makes sense. Um, and both patterns were very easy, very um, simple to follow and I liked both of the way that the patterns came out because sometimes you know knit in other than garments doesn't always work well but this stitch pattern that they chose 
it's a good, pretty solid um, cloth. Like I don't think I would pick up a heavy pot unless I folded it in half, but I would do that for any towel. Um, I did measure the yarn or I weighed it because there is still a lot left after these two. And I think I could get away with the knit towel in the same um, in knit and I could do definitely another crochet washcloth and I think I could do like one more so I would have to choose between the crochet or the knit so I could do um, there was like probably like measuring everything I could get two towels and three dishcloth washcloths out of the yarn I, th I think that would be pushing it and but that you know you are getting more than what just those three were so that's kind of cool that they have that much extra yarn that you can do that um so it does it's good value you know so if you are a knit and crocheter that's a really good feature and a good one to choose because you're gonna get to do both so if you are interested check out the link below um, they have a ton of other ones to choose from as well so they have a lot of cool stuff i was just browsing through it today and i see a lot that i would really like to get <laughs> right away so i'm probably gonna go shopping um but that is the knit and crochet kit club and i'm deja and thank you for watching